And then after like two minutes of honking at me, talking mad shit, they swerve into me, knock me off the bike, and they both come running at me, <clears throat> trying to mess me up, raining down punches and elbows, and I'm like, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, you got me, you got me, it's cool. And then as they get off me, I get one of them in a heel hook, and I fuck up his leg, and he screams in pain, and the other one I up kick right in the jaw, bam, it was hella funny, dude. <laughs> and his girlfriend was in the car the whole time? Yeah, dude. She was watching the whole time. And they both start hobbling away all quick and shit. And it's like, you guys got your asses beat, dude. You messed with the wrong guy, dude. What the? Aw, oh, are you kidding me? Ridiculous, dude. License and registration, please. Uh, I'm sorry? You heard me. I'm not showing you my license. Aren't you that dude from that crappy movie, Underwater, or whatever? Under siege. And that's no way to talk to your elders, boy. I've been a Shihan Guru for over 40 years. So? I don't... I don't know what that means. I taught Anderson that front kick. I was the first semi-white boy to open his own dojo in Japan. Yeah, well, this is what I think of you and your dojo in Japan. How about that? Listen, boys, this tough talk don't scare me one bit. I've put down a lot of bad guys in my day many, many times. I eat punks like you for breakfast. And then I lock them up and I put them away for a long, long time. You hear? Why are you filming this, dude? You trying to put this crap on TV? Market yourself? Yeah. Yeah, what's the matter? You were too fat to be in Expendables 3? <laughs> hey! What are you doing, dude? Aw, oh, fuck. Enjoy the ride, boys. <laughs> Why'd you give him the middle finger, dude? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna call a tow truck. Now how are we gonna drive to the 158 press conference? Dana's gonna flip his shit. Make a whole production out of this again. Uh, now, now I bet I gotta wait another 10 months to fight George. Watch. Nah, man. Who else is George gonna fight? In light of Nick Diaz once again failing to make a routine press conference, the UFC has decided to pull him from his UFC 158 bout against welterweight champ George St. Pierre. No way! Yes! A high-profile replacement has already been contacted and announced to take Diaz's place, as both fighters have verbally agreed to fight each other at a catch weight of 178 pounds. Uh, what? We caught up with Anderson Silva to talk about the super fight with GSP finally coming into fruition. Anderson, arguably the biggest fight in UFC history, confirmed today between you and GSP. We know you've been campaigning for this. How do you think they convinced GSP to take this fight? Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. This is the big sport. Thanks for Dana. Thanks to Lorenzo. Thanks Burger King. This is my family. I come here for working. That's it. That's it. And there you have it. He comes here for working. This is his family. Back to you, Kenny. Johnny, whoa. How do you get here? You're kind of creeping me out, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Johnny, what was going through your mind when you heard the news? That you were being squeezed out of another title shot? Did you feel betrayed by the UFC? Uh, it feels like you get your heart ripped out of you. You know what I'm saying? You know, again and again and again. You know what I'm saying? And how do you come to terms with this tough news and move forward? Uh, the good Lord, uh, you know, thank God for him. The Lord has a plan for me, you know what I'm saying? He just, he enjoys seeing me uh, knock people unconscious, just not for the title, I guess.